all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have something very special for you guys i managed to get the number one pc champion as well as the number one controller champion together we're doing this on pc we've got sky we've got ashen ashen's going to be your pc champ sky's going to be your console champ sky is playing on a controller on pc right now just to clarify that but we're going to be starting here on Coastline. If you guys enjoy this video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I post videos like this one every single day. And make sure you guys follow both Ashen and Skype with the links down below in the description. They would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. But with all that being said, let me know who you guys think is going to take it. Are you team console? Are you team PC? Let me know down in the comments. But anyways, let's get straight into round one. All right, round number one has just started here. Ashen is going to be starting on attack. He's going to be picking up that Zofia. And Skite, going number one controller champ, is going to be picking up that alibi. He chose to go downstairs into the kitchen bomb site for the first round here. We already see Ashen opening up that kitchen window. Looks like he's going to push towards Sunrise, though. But Skite may be predicting this as he's already in Mudroom right now. Ashen surely heard that barricade get hit. He's in a pre-fire straight into Mudroom right now. Shots coming out from Skite. Going to do a little bit of damage onto Ashen, but it's not going to matter because Ashen with the shots all the way from Mudroom into the... Uh, Sunrise bar there gonna take out Skype rounds number one the team PC Ashen, Ashen taking that on the kitchen bomb site just a little reminder as well as we're waiting for these uh, two players to get in past the prep phase here I am doing a sale with G Fuel right now for 30% off for the rest of the month so if you guys are interested in that feel free to check the links down below in the description get your G Fuel now while it's 30% off it's only going to be 30% off for a limited time so make sure you guys check the links down below in the description 30% off use code shock the link is down there as well as all my other sponsors but with that being said Let's get into round two. All right, round number two. We're seeing much of the same from the last round. Looks like Ashen's going to be trying to push in through Mudroom right now. He's got his drone in Mudroom. He's trying to clear out Sunrise right now. But Sky is going to be just here on the double door. So he's got to be very careful about how he wants to push in here. Ashen going to go back on his drone now. Trying to get some more information. But Sky's going to shoot that drone out. Ashen only have two more to work with but luckily he's already pre-placed one here inside of kitchen so great drone work by ashes so far able to pre-place that drone now realizing the site's potentially clear so he could try to push back into kitchen now as he's already tried shooting up the window from earlier but sky rotating all the way back into service now as he's got these rotate holes that he's made all over the place with that oryx pre is coming into the door narrowly ticking out ashen but fortunately for him he's able to miss those shots now a little bit of a standoff Skite just sitting here inside of the bathroom. All he's got to do is wait. Minute 45 on the clock. The time is against Ashen here. So all that Skite has to do is sit here and wait. Ashen trying to get some info on his drone right now. Shock's coming out. Trying to clear some of those beepers, I would assume. Smoking is going to come out from Ashen now. He's just trying to bait out Skite right now. He wants to bait out his position. That way he can get some intel. And that's exactly what happened. Skite going to move from his position inside of the bathroom and... Now Ashen knows exactly where he's at. And Ashen right now crouch walking in. Stewie 2K in the smoke right now. Skite just holding an angle though where there isn't any smoke. Can Ashen get by? No, he cannot. Skite with the headshot onto Ashen. Round number two going to Skite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round number three has begun. And this also marks the last round of the split. So both these players definitely trying to win this round to uh, win over that split here. Looks like Ashen's going to try to push back in through Mudroom. He loves pushing through Mudroom here, but... Sky's all the way actually inside of service, and the bomb site is blue bar. So Ashen could potentially just walk in sight and plant for free right now. He's got the drones inside of sight. He potentially sees that it's clear here. So Sky probably wants to rotate back here, which is exactly what he's going to do. He's going to push back into that sunrise bar. So now Ashen has lost his opportunity to push into sight while Sky was gone. But fortunately for Ashen, he's ace. He's able to open up the wall here. But Legion Mines coming out from Skite. That's going to be stuck in Ashen's foot, but he just doesn't care. He's going to power right through it, hopping in sight with the Legion Mine in his foot, taking a little bit of damage right now. So he's definitely going to have to take that out. Skite just behind the couches here in Sunrise, pre-firing, just making sure that Ashen cannot plant. Legion Mine still in Ashen's foot, taking over half of his HP for some reason, not choosing to take that out. And because of that, Skite's going to be able to swing and take him out as... I'm sure Ace was making lots of groans right there with the Legion Mine stuck in his foot, but that's going to be round number three. Going to Skite. So far, the controller champ is winning two to one.
All right, round number four has started in Sky pushing very aggressively inside of Sunrise, already trying to nade up towards the hatch where Ashen was standing by. Very aggressive push here from Sky, 30, not even 30 seconds into the round, and he's already in the building, taking that map control. But he's going to choose to fall back now, potentially going to push that Uka balcony here. But Ashen has a lot of holes set up, as well as these Aruni gates. So Sky's going to have to probably waste either his drone or his nade on this. But either way, he's going to have to waste some sort of utility to go through it. Actually, he chooses not to, just going to tank the damage, walk straight in, seemingly for no reason, too, as he walks straight out. So that's a lot of damage onto Sky. For possibly no reason. Ashen just holding really an off angle here on top of the pool table. Sky trying to prone in right now, but I think Ashen's gonna be able to see the top of his head. That's that's it right there. Shots coming out from Ashen, and he's gonna win round number four. Uh Ashen tried uh putting a Goyo on the wall and then shooting it to make a rotate, but sadly that doesn't quite work how he used to with the shield. So a waste of utility there, but not too big of a deal as he's still got three more and only one person to deny. Ashen actually gonna choose to Use his C4 to make that rotate hole as he does actually want that there. So that's uh, a C4 gone for Ashen to start as well as a Goyo trap before the round even starts. But we'll see if that impacts this round whatsoever. But Skite trying to push in through the main entrance right now by the Lamborghini doorway outside. Opening that double door. He's actually got a pre-place drone inside a bathroom. Now Ashen going to hit the deck immediately as he's prepared for a peek here. But actually it's going to be a grenade from Skite. Ashen narrowly missing that explosion there. He's going to fall back into service now. Sky trying to push up to the kitchen hallway. Kind of a standstill now. Both players not doing much of anything. Ooh, a crazy flick from Sky on the controller as well. This is not something you see every day. A flick like this on a controller is a little bit ridiculous. That's going to be Ashley getting taken out through the service wall. That is impressive to say the least. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is match point right now. Sky, your controller champ, is looking to take the win over Ashen right now. Quick little reminder, if you guys are enjoying this video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. I do post videos like this every day. It would mean a lot to me. But match point, let's see who's going to take this. Ashen definitely needs to step it up here if he wants to stay alive. We are doing a best of three, so this is not game over. Uh, at least completely if Ashen does lose this, but definitely not the start to the series that I'm sure he wants to see. But Skite looks like he's going to be repelling on that big window right now, trying to drone up through the white stairs, just trying to gain some intel. Ashen doing something similar, hopping on cams, trying to gain what intel he can. Skite still on this drone. Sees that Ashen's all the way by white stairs right now, and this could be a free repellent for Skite, but he's going to choose not to play a risky and repel back up to the roof. Looks like Ashen thinks that possibly Skite is pushing in through service but that is not the case he's actually on top of the roof right now we could see sky actually drop the luggage balcony which is exactly what he's gonna do right now ashen surely gonna hear that and gonna take him out three to three now ashen barely surviving that right there and no more match point for sky all right here we are ladies and gentlemen it is ot right now it looks like sky's gonna be trying to push in through the main lobby he already had a pre-place drone on ashen but it doesn't matter ashen's aim just superior in that gunfight there and that's gonna be Really like a five second round. That was just great crosshair placement from Ashen there. This guy maybe pushing in a little bit too aggressively. And that's, I don't even know what round that was. Round number seven, over in seconds. All right, round number eight here. Ashen, pre-placed drone, already in Sunrise. Going to clear that. He's going to try to push in through Sunrise. But Skype, once again, coming over to Sunrise to try to stop him. It is a match point for Ashen right now. So if Skype loses this round... The first map goes to Ashen, and we'll be moving on to map number two. So this is a big round for Skite. He's got to win this. He wants to stay in this match. Going to be pre-firing through the wall. Not going to hit, though. A lot of damage on Ashen, though. I won't say a lot, but a decent amount of damage onto Ashen through the wall there. That Alibi uh, MX4 not doing as much damage as Skite would probably hope for, but Ashen with the impact grenade on the wall, maybe using it as a potential distraction. Looks like he might be wanting to go for some sort of a wall bang here. He's going to be droning in. Through Mudroom into Sunrise here. And he's just sitting on the window. He just looks like he's trying to bait Sky into possibly coming over to the bar here. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. But not going to work for Ashton whatsoever. Now it looks like he's going to be trying to push in through the blue bar. But Sky's going to say, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to go all the way to office and try to flank through that way. Which could end up being the smart decision for him here. As the window is open and Ashton may not be expecting this whatsoever. Sky just closing the window now. Ashen is pre-firing it, but I'm not sure if he's aware that Sky went all the way around like this. Minute 20 seconds left. Ashen's got plenty of time to work with here. Drones coming out from Ashen. Gonna see that Sunrise is definitely clear. 
And with that formation, I'm sure we're going to see him try to push in through Sunrise. The drone into blue bar. He's going to see this guy's playing in blue bar. But this rotation hole is actually... I think it's scuffed. I don't think this guy can walk through it. So he's going to fall back behind the blue bar now. Ashen hopefully still has those stuns, which could assist him heavily in winning this round. The alibi clones everywhere. Ashen's got to be careful not to shoot any of those as these wall bangs would be devastating right now. Ooh, both players narrowly missing each other there. That's going to be Sky taking about half of his HP, falling back into blue bar now. But Ashen going to say, you know what? Let me just take Sight. He's got the bomb. All he's going to do is plant. Going to plant on these head holes. That way he can peek as soon as Sky pushes in, which is exactly what he's trying to do. But Sky hiding on the wall. That's going to be a wall bang. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to 4-4. Four, four, neck and neck between these two players here. All right, here we go. The final round has just begun. You couldn't ask for a closer game between these two players here. No cheating. Let me know down in the comments who you guys think is going to win. Like I said, no cheating. Let me know right now down in the comments who you think is going to win between these two players here. Ashen playing very aggressively, trying to throw these alibi clones outside, but it's just not working out for him. Sky looks like he's going to be playing aggressive himself. Already on the VIP balcony. Going to be droning in, trying to see if he can take this alibi clone outside. Potentially going to give away Ashen's position as he had to throw that from somewhere right knowing that and he's going to try to push straight into the site now Sophia charged open up the wall and he is in sight and ashen surely heard this now but ashen only has to play safe this guy's supposed to plant and it's a seven second plant so ashen has plenty of time to play around this especially since guy has no teammates to cover him while he's planning guy's really gonna want to have to go for the kill here if he wants to win this round a plant is possible but for Ashen just to not do anything for seven seconds. I don't know if it's going to be possible here. Stun grenade is going to come out from Skype. Minute 50 seconds on the clock. So he's got plenty of time to work with here. Three breaching charges as well. So he could definitely make something work. Kind of a standstill between these two players. But it looks like we're finally going to see some action here. Minute 20 on the clock right now. Ashen just pre find that Hall of Fame door a little bit. Trying to stop Skype from pushing in. But Skype's going to do just that. He walked straight in. He's behind the bed now. Ashen just playing safe. All, he knows all he has to do is wait. This bed frame is wall bangable. So Skite doesn't really have as much cover as he may think he has. Quick peeks coming out from Ashen. Skite going to choose to fall back now. One minute. Like I said, he's got plenty of time. He's going to peek into the 90 hall now. These head holes could prove to be deadly for Ashen. But he's actually got a pretty solid angle right here. But Skite's going to be playing just directly behind this deployable shield. 50 seconds left. Skite's got to make a move. The plant is... Almost certainly out of the question now. Ashen going to rotate all the way back into the bedroom now. Honestly, Ashen's not in the greatest spot ever. His guy could rotate back into VIP if he chooses. But that drone hole giving so much information to Ashen. The pre-fire is coming out, but it's not going to hit. Ashen goes down. Skite wins it. Map number one goes to Skite, your number one controller player. Taking it over, Ashen, the number one PC player. We're going to be heading into map number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is not over yet. We have a best of three on our hands here, and we're going to map two. Remember, Sky, your number one controller player, had just one on Coastline, so we're going to be here on Oregon now. That was Sky's map choice. Uh, I had Ashen pick the first map. That was Coastline, and he wanted to play on attack. The second map, I had Sky choose. That's going to be Oregon, and he wanted defense. So that's what we're going to be starting out. I think that's pretty fair, and I'll be the one to pick the third map if it comes to that. But with that being said, we have Oregon to focus on to begin with. And just another little reminder, if you guys have been joining so far, consider liking the video. Subscribe for new. I would appreciate it. Make sure to follow Ashton and Sky with the links down below in the description. Great guys. Very good players. Definitely representing both the PC and console scene very well. So consider following them. But let's get straight into round number one. This guy just playing on these main stairs right here. And I'm not sure that Ashton knows it, but Ashton had just shot open the top of this door right here, which could have gotten him killed right there. But this guy's going to rotate back up into the trophy room. Looks like he's actually playing behind a shield here. But Ashton, knowing that, going to hop straight in through white window very aggressively. And he's also got a great pre-play drone inside the site. So he's going to be able to see exactly where this guy is at. Flashbang's coming out. He's going to cover the sound of him getting on the cam. That's going to be Ashen droning in from White Stairs right now. That flashbang is going to cover the sound of Ashen hopping on that drone. So that's why Skite's not pushing up off of that intel. Two minutes left. Skite's going to get droned out here by Ashen. So he's going to fall back into the attic room now. But Ashen already pushed in right now. He's got the buck. He's close range. He's going to get it. Ashen with the first round on Oregon. All right. Round number two here. Ashen once again on that buck. Already inside the building. Very aggressively taking that map control. Now, since it is a 1v1, 
We're not going to be playing typical siege here. So a lot of the things that should be done are not done. And one of those things being the hatches. None of them are reinforced. So Ash is going to take full advantage of that. Just dropping straight into the site very quickly. But Skite too prepared for that. Just hiding behind the bomb chassis here. Ready for the drop. And that's going to be Skite winning out round number two. All right, round number three. Ash is going to be opening up that big window. Most likely just to send a drone through it. But we'll see what he chooses to do. Sky opening up some floor holes actually onto the white stairs, which could be really bad for Ashton as that's exactly what he's trying to hop in through. And he's going to take massive amounts of damage through those floor holes. Sky going to somehow not take any damage from that buck shotgun from below, but Ashton definitely not looking good so far in round number three. Two minutes left though, so he's got plenty of time. But it may not matter. Skite's just pushing down. He wants to end this round. He wants to finish what he started. Flashman coming out from Ashen. Going to blind both of them. But at least Ash is going to be able to take away with some damage onto Skite. So Skite about 50 HP now. And looks like Ash is going to actually try to buck from underneath onto Skite's position. So I believe Ash has a drone somewhere inside of sight. Let's check it out. Uh, maybe it got shot. He definitely has one outside of big window. So I, I can see the strat that he's trying to do. He's just trying to open up through the floor. And see if he can just not even have to take a gunfire here. Especially since he's on low HP. It's probably a smart decision by him. That drone going to get shot out by Skite. So now Ashton with no intel. Flashbang is going to come up through those floorboards. He's going to try to push up off of that up to the white stairs. But Skite with a pretty good angle from Kid's dorms onto those white stairs. This is an off angle. You don't typically see this held by the defenders. So this could be bad for Ashton. But Skite's going to hear that Ashton was prone on the white stairs. Ashton going to take massive amounts of damage now skite's still about 50 hp so he's looking good in terms of hp but it won't matter ashen swings looks at the wrong place and skite takes him down two to one so far that's going to be skite's last round on defense and we'll be switching sides all right ashen inside of bunker right now this is potentially bad as skite is just outside of the door right now ashen's going to swing a lot of damage on a skype but it doesn't matter Skite with that controller aim. He's just a different breed. That's going to be Ashley going down. Look at that aim. Absolutely insane. Very impressive stuff coming out from Skype. But that is going to be three rounds to Skype. One to Ashen. Match point for Skype. Listen, guys. Not only is it match point, but it's also a uh, game point as Skype is already up a map. So this could potentially be the last round of this video. So with that being said, if you've enjoyed so far, like the video subscribe if you're new i would appreciate it big props to skite for making it this far honestly i definitely expected ashton to win i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys uh predicted down in the comments but i definitely predicted ashton to win this so for skite to be playing as well as he is and actually be winning i'm very impressed so props to him for that remember to follow both of them the links are down below in the description but let's not count ashton out just yet it's still one to three he's in this game he's got to win two rounds we saw him bring it four to four last round or last map. So it's not out of the question for him to win this just yet. Skype going to be trying to push in through small tower here, but Ashen just hopped off camp. So he's going to know that that's where Skype's pushing from. And Ashen in an unexpected position right now. This is not something you almost ever see coming out from defenders, but it doesn't matter. Skype with the flick actually going to do almost half of Ashen's HP. Skype unscathed right now. He's going to say, you know what? This isn't the gunfight for me. I'm going to run straight down the freezer stairs. But Ashen, you got to be careful about the turnaround. Skype winning it four to one and absolutely dominating performance coming out from skype ggs in the comments thank you so much to skype for playing thank you so much to ash for playing make sure you guys follow them the links are down below in the description let me know how you think both of these players did if you enjoyed the video subscribe turn those notifications on i post videos like this every single day like the video and thank you so much for watching have a great day